Um, my name's Joe Yost. I'm the head football coach at Akron Allot. Aaron Mail. Fortunately, he blossomed last year and had 2,500 yards total. And I, this year, we're hoping he can have three or four thousand. But uh, he's certainly one of the top players in the area. And uh, when you come to watch Ella play, you're going to see Aaron Mail. After this year, Aaron Mail and uh, Andrew Crawford, uh, Robert Schutte. Um, probably those are probably the top three. We don't have many seniors on a ball club. And uh, these young men just have great character and great quality. They're great students. And uh, uh, and there's a lot of young players, obviously. But uh, I do miss my players. They're great people, and, and it's a privilege to be around them. So I really miss my kids quite a bit, actually. Well, I think Dakota King, we have a, a sophomore that's going to start at uh, our whiteout. Uh, Hussein Hamden uh, could be our starting middle linebacker as a sophomore, and so obviously that's a big leap from being on a freshman field last year. And, and we think he could, he we think he has great promise. And I'd say those two guys are probably the biggest. And and of course Matt Gear, Matt Gear started every game but one uh, as a freshman at our starting fullback, and we're looking for great things from Matt from Matt Gear because he's just a breakout player. Well, that's so hard to say because we have, uh, I think on offense, we only returned three starters. On defense, we only returned three or four starters. And so I think we just have several players that really just need to step up. It's not so much a bounce back. They just need to mature. And uh, actually, I'm kind of rooting for Andrew Neal. Uh, he's our kicker. And uh, the other day, he popped a 45-yarder, and uh, he doesn't have his kicking shoe yet. So I'm real excited to see how he comes along. To focus on being a football player and to focus on the ACT, uh, certainly uh, colleges recruit student athletes, and, and their grades are very important. And they really have to work on their time management. They have to make sure they set aside time uh, for their studies. They need to keep their priorities straight. And obviously, if they focus on their studies, if they focus on playing football, if they focus on the day at hand, then they'll be successful. Sometimes people sort of look into the future, and uh, they got to take care of getting to the dance first. I just absolutely love it. I really don't. Actually, people ask me what I do, and I really can't do anything else. Uh, this is my 41st year coaching football. I started coaching right out of high school, and uh, I've been at Ellet the whole time except for one year. And uh, I really can't imagine doing anything else. Obviously, there's people that like to see me move on and, and some want me to stay. But overall, it's just what I do. I feel very comfortable. And uh, I think it's because at Ellet, it's our goal for football to be a, a part of, the, of life's journey. We really want it to be an experience where they're going to grow as people. If High school football is not going to be an educational experience, then why do we even have it in the curriculum? And that's our goal. We want people to grow, become better people, better men. And if that's not taking place, we ought to probably get rid of it. And uh, so that's how we approach it. And so every year there's a challenge, different challenges, and, and we challenge the men to be the best they can. And so it's a very exciting thing to watch guys come in as freshmen, as kids, and walk across the stage as young, tough honest, good people when they graduate and when they finish their football season. So it, it, it's a real privilege to be a part of that. Their pride. I think the great ones have pride 24 hours a day. I think they brush their teeth with pride. I think they get dressed with pride. I think uh, if they have a spelling test, they'll compete and they'll take pride in that. I think the great ones take pride in who they are and what they do 24 hours a day. If you're just going to turn it on and off for a sport, it has very little significance. Well, for most kids, it doesn't happen, and I think it just comes down to I want the guys, I want all of our kids to be great, solid citizens. I want them to grow up to be great fathers, great dads, great family people, great employees, great leaders in our community. I mean, the number of people putting on a pro helmet, I mean, you can't even count them on one finger. I mean, that's how few there are. And so certainly we want our young men to grow up and be men of integrity and uh, good, productive, happy fulfilled human beings and that's what it should be about yeah go orangeman